Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get back old features from past Samsung phones onto your new Galaxy Note 8. And you can do this with any uh, new Samsung and old Samsung phones, but today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get back dual camera on the Galaxy Note 8. Now, you might be wondering, well, dual camera, you have two cameras on the back of the phone, what do you mean? Well, long time ago, uh, I wanna say it was back in the S6 days or S5 days, um, we actually had the ability to shoot in dual camera, meaning actually that right now I am using the rear camera right here and the front camera right here, and I can invert that if I want. So now the front camera and then the rear camera. This is a great way of shooting with both cameras at the same time, and you can do this really creatively. I mean, you can have like a Instapic, so it looks like, you know, a really fun style, and then drag this over, make it smaller, make it bigger, however you want to do it. You can film video with this, you can take photos with it. That way you're in the shot too. Um, it was how Samsung had pitched it before, basically. So you're in the shot too, and both whoever you're taking a photo of and you are in the shot. So it's really great for that. I actually liked this uh, scene, which you have seen in a couple of my videos in the past, which allows you to film with both cameras. Um, and that's really great for vlogging. Actually, any of these would be great for vlogging because you're in the shot and you have uh, your subject obviously in the shot too. So really nice for that and really a great mode. So how do you get it back when you cannot download it from the Galaxy App Store, you cannot download it from the Google Play Store, so how do you get it back? So I showed people how to do this, but I didn't do it step by step, which was a highly requested part of doing it. So I'm gonna show you how to get these kind of apps back. So first we're gonna to go to APK Mirror. So APK Mirror, and I'm going to search for the specific app, so I can skip a couple of steps uh, that I wanna get. So APK Dual Camera, APK S Note, APK, you know, whatever you're looking for. So right here at the top is the one I was looking for. If you cannot find it that way, you have a search bar up here to tap and make sure you get it. Now, the problem is with all of these kind of websites, and APK Mirror is a really reliable one, but the problem is, is you don't know which app. So if I was on this page right here, you might think, oh, well, install this. No, this is an advertisement. So this does not mean to install that app. And I had a lot of people accidentally doing that or doing this one. Oh, well here, you know, you just look for something that like, oh, well this looks like it. So here's the one, here's the latest one. So the great thing about it is that it has every version of the app ever made. So if you want the latest version right here, if you want the older version, that's what you might want for S Note now. Uh, since the newer version took away Action Memo, you might, might want to get the older version. So you have the ability to do that. So I'm going to hit this button right here, close add. And now I'm on the main page. So now I want to download the app. So you have to navigate this very carefully because again, look at how many things. This is an advertisement. This is not what you want to use to download. Same with this, an advertisement, same with that. All of these are advertisements, so you have to be very careful. The download APK, the actual one, is right here in between the advertisements. So that's the accurate one. And once you download that, it'll refresh, it will download. And then once it's downloaded, you can open and install. I already have this one. That's why you have a one at the end of that. And that's would be it. So that is how you get back old apps or old parts of Samsung that you don't have anymore. I really like this feature because I get a lot of old things that Samsung gave up on. Uh, and either developers have continued to update or Samsung updates it in certain other parts of the world, but not in the US. So you get the latest version that way too, even if you didn't know it was still being updated. All right guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.